expert on that very speciality. Can you tell us what it's for? Oh, this is rare. Redonkulously rare. And it's in sissy condition. What? What is it? A dingle hopper. A dingle hopper? Commonly <coughs> used in saloons of the beauty variety. You see, humans like to wear their hair and tails. Pig, pony, duck, it's all the same. A crimp here, a twirl there, and voila, a pop adorable. All thanks to the dingle hopper. Give you two sand dollars for it. So no. I'm telling you, kid, out in the open sea, you will get more than a few clams. But I know what to offer. I'm not selling it, Scully. I'm saving it for my collection. And how do you have a swap? I got something stupidicious. Museum quality, really. A banded bulbous snark black. Ooh. Second cousin to the tuba. It makes music? Sure thing, kid. And I am just blowing smoke. It makes music so stupendous, so marvelous. <laughs> music? Oh no, the concert. Oh my gosh, my father's gonna kill me. The concert was today? I completely forgot. Today marks a special anniversary, for on this fateful day, many years ago, I inherited my father's kingdom and banished the sea witch Ursula forever. <laughs> and so it's time we celebrate our victory. In honor of the occasion, may I present our master of the ceremonies. I got a special song just for the occasion, and it's sung by none other than your lovely seven daughters. I wrote this little number for my star pupil. And who might that be? Why, your youngest, Arya. Such a voice, that child. Notes as clear as eyes, pitch as pure as water. Why, I haven't heard such a magnificent voice since, well, since Her Royal Highness. May she rest in peace. You're gonna be a cow papa. You'll see. If only to joke for rehearsals once in a while. <laughs> Let the merriment begin! <laughs> Sorry. 
a real young lady. I just forgot, that's all. As a result of your careless behavior. Careless and reckless behavior. <laughs> the entire celebration was ruined. Completely destroyed. This concert was going to be the pinnacle of my distinguished career. Sebastian, now thanks to you, <laughs> I am the laughing stock of the old kingdom. I was talking about my dad. Ariel, please. You've been given such a gift. I know. My mother's voice. It's a wondrous talent. One that demands stewardship and care. So please, Ariel, for the sake of her memory. I will, Daddy. I promise. It wasn't even Ariel's fault. That know-it-all seagull could go on and on and on. Seagull? Seagull? You went up to the surface again? Nothing happened. You could have been seen by one of those barbarians. What are those humans? Daddy, they're not barbarians. They're dangerous. <coughs> Cups and harpoons. Like it or not, Ariel, you're still my youngest, my baby. And so I worry about you the most. But I'm old enough to look after myself. As long as you live under my reef, you'll obey my rules. Can you just listen to me for once? That's the last time you're ever going to the surface. Understood? You're so unfair. <laughs> Heaven help me. She's headstrong, willful, stubborn as a barnacle. Teenagers, give them an inch and they swim all over you. <laughs> I can govern a kingdom, but I can't control my own daughter. I was too harsh. She'll learn to fear me, but I don't want that. She needs her mother, Sebastian. And so do I. If only she were here. She knows what to say. She firmly and yet gently helped the girl to find her way. She knows what to forbid and what we must allow. She have the strength and patience that I lack somehow. Oh, I would give. It's difficult, sure, but you got to toughen up, not melt down, for Ariel's sake. That girl needs constant supervision. Someone to watch over her and keep her safe. That's not a bad idea. Someone to safeguard her every move, and every docking pad, her every side stroke, and every dive. And you are just the crowd to do it. What? <laughs> you heard me. From now on, Ariel is your responsibility. But your majesty, I'm Mr. Crustacean. She's a very clever mermaid. Surely you ought to pick someone higher on the evolutionary scale. <laughs> Oh, 